and today we're going to be doing part two of drawing a fairy, so coloring a fairy. And let's get right into this. And so I started by doing the face. Basically, it didn't look as good before and I just fixed it up. It still doesn't look good because faces are hard to draw, especially on small places. And what I did was I kind of made the eyes less curved and more flat because her eyes are closed anyway. It's not really going to matter that much. It's not going to make it look better. It already looks terrible. <laughs> and I made her hair brown because I just like brown hair. And it looks good on the fairy too, especially with the other colors that we'll be adding in in a minute. It really matches everything and it looks good on this drawing fairy what do I call this I'll just call it a fairy and then I darkened the lines on the wings so that I could get on with coloring the wings I just wanted to darken the lines so that it wouldn't look bad and I added inside to the wings and I didn't whereas before it didn't have like that inside space it was just one line there where now there's two so that's kind of the difference that I added. I made the dress purple because last episode we kind of just thought that, hey, maybe she's poisonous since some mushrooms are poisonous. And I just liked that shape of the dress and I thought that the color purple would kind of be poisonous, like how the dress almost looks spiky because I don't really think she could hurt you, but poisonous creatures always look like they can hurt you because that's kind of their job that they have to do to survive. I added the skin tone and then I had ba I have basically finished the top down of the fairy. So then I started on the wings. I made them like I made the outside a lightish blue color because I didn't want to have too many dark colors. I wanted it to be light colors and dark colors because I think that they look good together. Then I added the green, and the green I really like because it's green, which kind of looks poisonous. Some people think that it like, looks poisonous, but it also looks like green like nature. And nature is, well, mushrooms are a thing in nature, basically. <laughs> and it's like green like plants, and mushrooms are plants. But the only thing about that color pencil is it looks blue in real life and in the camera, but it comes out green. It is very weird. I also like the green because I haven't used that color yet, and the more colors the better. <laughs> One extra thing also is I was able to put a light next to it so that it looks better than the last video. Or at least hopefully you think it looks better. And I really like it more now. At least you can see things and it isn't totally dark. I didn't even notice my room's light was that dark until I saw it on camera. Wow. Then I went on to the bottom part of the dress, which was also purple. And I started on the right side. I don't know why I started on the right side. I think I actually stood it on the left side for the hair, so I don't know. That was a bit weird. I mean, I don't have an exact way that I do it, but still, I don't know why I did it like that. Then I fixed up the line for the bottom, like, middle part of the dress. I don't know what to call that because it's a made-up thing that doesn't really exist. And then I kind of colored it yellow because we needed some more light color to balance out the dark colors because usually you need more light color than the dark colors to make it look even even though really I don't know if it really does anything I'm not very I I don't know so I hope I made it look better or else it'll look worse I, I don't know <laughs> then I started on the mushroom and I made the bottom of the mushroom light, and then I started on the stem. The only problem about the mushroom is I had no idea what to make it, 
blue looked too magical, purple looked weird since everything is purple, green, I actually didn't try green, I should have tried green before I said this, also yellow looked way too light and the dress is yellow so that was a hard decision, and as you can see, I ended up making the mushroom brown. It looks basic, and I know it's basic, but sometimes basic is better, and also no other color looks good for a mushroom. I mean, blue kind of looks good, it just looks too magical, and it's already magical, so I don't know, I just chose brown for really no reason. I could have made it any color. Oh, and red looked too weird, even though a lot of cartoon mushrooms are red. Wait for it. Yep, a uh, sparkle thingy magic. Wait, I I don't know what to call it. A glitter? Wait, no, it's not glitter. Glitter is like, hmm, a gem. Yeah, I'll go with a gem. I like the gem. The gem is really does nothing. I don't know why I put it there, but it stays there. And I knew that it would look good, but I don't think it really makes it better. I just think it makes it look good but it doesn't like make it better i don't know i'm bad at explaining things i am very bad at explaining things and then i went back to the mushroom after the glitter before i even glued it down because who needs to glue down the glitter when you can just color a mushroom yeah that i don't know why i didn't glue the mushroom not glue the mushroom i don't know why i didn't glue the gem on before i continued coloring the mushroom that was a mouthful no. wait i just noticed something i haven't even said the fairy's name the whole time well this is pearl she is a mushroom fairy and that's basically all that i have to say about the fairy really there's not much more that you need to know. She's sitting on a mushroom, so that makes her a mushroom fairy, right? I actually s explained it more in the first episode, but okay. And it's done right. Wrong, I need to glue on the thingy magic, the little gem thing. Wait, I already said that it was a gem. Why did I still call it a thingy magic? Wow, I'm terrible at speaking. Yes, I used a pencil to glue it on. I don't know why I used a pencil. It was just the nearest thing. Wait, that means I do know why. Why did I say I don't know why? I'm super confuzzled. And then I continued the tiny underwing things that are still wings. Why do wings have two pieces? Can't they just have one wing? And this only happens in fairies. Wait, does it happen in butterflies too? I think when you draw butterflies, you draw them too like that. But it's not on real butterflies. Why? Why is it like this? I am again confuzzled. And then, I decided to draw a background. Even though really, the picture could be complete right there. I decided to add a background for really no reason. And it doesn't even go on the full page, the background. It just goes like around the fairy. Why? Why did I decide to add a background? Because it actually ends up looking amazing. The background is one of my favorite parts. So, yeah. Now it must be done, right? No, I decide to add swirls. Because any good background has swirls, right? Wow. This is very... There's so many fake endings in this video. How many were there? I think three. Is that... I don't know. I am very confuzzled still. I am very confuzzled. Anyway, it's a cool picture. This is so close to, um, so this is so close to being done, and I really don't know what to say because it's almost done and there's not much happening. Um, yeah. As this video went on, I think I started making less and less sense, and I'm sorry for that. But, this video is very crazy. I don't know why it this, it's so crazy. It's just coloring the fairy. Why did it have to be crazy? <laughs> and here are the swirls. One thing that surprised me was that I was actually able to keep my hand straight-ish. 
and that my hand wasn't wobbly like if a cat tried to write. Actually, how would it look if a cat tried to write? And now, I think it's either, yeah, it's the end of the video. I am very sorry, but it's time to go, so goodbye!